and everybody's in place today. Amen. Praise God. Oh, God is still working. Oh, yes, he is. Mm -hmm. It's a small book. Find Revelation yeah. and go left. Yeah. <laughs> Close the book and go left. <laughs> I guess y'all gonna figure out I ain't I don't preach everybody else's sermon. Okay, amen. <laughs> mm -hmm. First John, we'll start. They're going to be looking at chapter 2, two verses. Verses 1 and 2. Amen. Thank you for another day's journey. We thank you for coming. Uh, we're looking at uh, today, we'll be the sermons coming out of. This is 1 John, 2nd mm -hmm. chapter, verses 1 and 2. First John, it's a little epistle, a letter that John wrote, but it's got something for us today. Chapter. Revelation back there, you got it? Yeah. Find Revelation, didn't go there. I'll give you a shortcut right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go with verse 1 and 2. Let's read together, if you don't mind. My little children, these things write unto you, that ye sin not, and if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. And he is a propitiation for our sins, and not for our only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Use our subject this morning. He is our protection. He is. Amen. He is Amen. our protection. Amen. He is our protection. Amen. We want to let the Holy Spirit have his way. We want to, in your prayers, actually to lift up Brother Elam in prayer. Uh, if you don't mind, lift his name up. Uh, Brother Cage is getting ready to go to military service. Uh, for the next five weeks, we want to lift him up in prayer. Amen. And we also want to lift up all of the children that's going back to school up in prayer. Amen. And uh, whether it's online or in person, but we definitely want to lift up our children in this time of need Amen. Uh, because they need that protection. Amen. Amen. When we look in here today, Brother Cecil, this is a small epistle. And what makes this unique, this is the beloved John, the one that Jesus knew personally. He's an old man now, before he wrote the book of Revelation. Mm. Yet, it's not the first generation, Sister Easton. Mm -hmm. It's not the second generation, Sister Lee, but the third generation yeah. of Christians. Yeah. In other words, it's some that's far removed. It's not grandma or big mama. Mm. It's not your daddy, but now it's you. Mm -hmm. And one thing about it, it's one thing to hear about what God has done and all the other different things, but the children back in those days, Brother Wilfred, Ask old man John to say, is this thing real about Jesus? Mm -hmm. is, is, is it real? I heard about it, but we'll find a further way on a cold night. If you got a log on the fire, as long as you close by, you stay warm, don't you? Mm -hmm. But what happens when you back away? Mm -hmm. And you keep backing away. Mm -hmm. So see, the further away you get away from it, it gets cold. Yeah. So at this point in time, so, so, Cynthia, we find now that during this time in the church of Ephesus, in Ephesians, the Spirit of God was cold. Mm -hmm. It was a doubt. It was a place to where they didn't believe Jesus because all of a sudden he gained seeing. Mm -hmm. We find right here, let's look at chapter 1, verse 1. It says what? That uh, which was from the beginning, which, which we have heard, heard which, we, which have we have seen with our eyes, eyes which, which we, we have, have looked upon, and our hands have handled. Of the word of life. What we got right here, John said, I'm glad to have, he is the pastor of the church now, down in Ephesus. Mm -hmm. And he's dealing with these children. So Sister Landry has come up and asked the question, is this thing real? Mm -hmm. The first 
St. John, he cut through the chase. He says that which was from the beginning. Now, it's unique he said that phrase because Genesis 1 and 1 says what? In the, in the, in the beginning. beginning. John 1 and 1 says in the beginning. Amen. So now we find this is the third time he made reference in the Bible that talks about in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the catch right now. How long ago in eternity, Brother Wilfred, did God decide to have a creation? What was God doing, Brother Cecil, way back when in eternity before he said in the beginning? What was on his mind? What was going on? I can't give you those answers, but I can only tell you that John was given a different revelation when he penned his epistle. Oh. And the epistle was God has given him a supernatural insight uh -huh. to what happened before the beginning. Yeah. Uh -huh. So God had to give him some insight to let him know that there had to be a divine intelligence. Uh -huh. And he got to be smart. When you look around, look at all these rocks and everything that you see that says, you've got to be smart. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Brother Cecil, leave that big goat you got. You got to be smart to design mm -hmm. and put everything in place. So John said, that which was, I want you to get to was now, it means it existed before the beginning. Mm -hmm. So now we're looking at an attribute of God of being eternal. Mm -hmm. He says now, from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So now we're starting to look at from the beginning to where we at today. And he says right now, which we have heard. Now all of a sudden that makes a difference. These young folks were sitting there and saying, now, John, I don't believe Jesus. I don't believe the story of Jesus. I don't believe all the different things I heard. They said, yeah, but let me help you understand something. But what we have heard, I'm an eyewitness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A man or woman that experienced such a thing is not the mercy of a person with a pain. Amen. Amen. I don't care what nobody else don't believe that that was God. Mm. Boy, yeah. I don't care if nobody else don't believe the sun rises in the east. And moves under the left and across God's horizons mm -hmm. and sets in the west. Yeah. So he said, it don't make no difference. And nobody that don't believe the seat that you sat in will hold you. You sat down this morning, didn't you? Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. So when you have specific, when you have experience, Amen. you are not at the mercy of a person with opinion. Yeah. That's right. And we find with a great fall away in the church of Ephesus back in that day because they didn't see. They didn't have a feeling who he was, and they got, they want to be like everybody else. All right. They want to be like everybody else, but had a God that they could see. All right. They had things that man made that can look at the glitter, the bling bling, and all that. They thought that was what everybody else was doing. But the bottom line is, Johnson, let me tell you something. We've heard it, mm -hmm. and now that what we have seen with our own. With what, with our own Eyes. Brother and sister, your testimony determines your effectiveness of being a witness. God has made you, because of your belief, to be able to tell somebody about God's story. Oh, yeah. About the redemptive story of the protection plan that God got in place for humanity and the human species. Human beings are the only one that doubts that there is a God. Mm -hmm. Everything else in creation depends on God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The bird waited on God to bring the worm to him. The ducks wait on God to bring sunshine so they can fly around. Mm -hmm. We find now that everything in creation depends on God except man. And man is an intelligent species, but he doubts the existence of God. <coughs> he is our protection. Yeah, yeah. John said, I want you to understand. We've heard it. And John 1, 14 said, and the word became flesh. Mm -hmm. The bottom line was they didn't believe that Jesus came in the flesh. Oh. Right. They had the Stoics, they had the Gnostics, they were different ones that said he came, but he was temporary this and temporary that. So they were torn. They, 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 because if you know this, no matter what you got, always going to be somebody that's going to be a doubt. Come on, really. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what you say, what you read, somebody can always take what they think and what they believe. Yeah. Brothers and yeah. sisters, remember one thing a mouth will say anything. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Everybody's got an opinion. Yeah. And the bottom line here is up to you to do the research to find out is it real. John said, I'm an eyewitness, not only did I, we've heard it, but I've seen it mm -hmm. with our own eyes. And here's the thing, which we have what? 
No. Nope. We done engaged the bone. Yeah. I, I done walked with him when he gave sight to the blind. I was there when he walked on the wall. I was there when he made the lame walk. I was there when he fed the thousands. So when you get an effective witness, guess what? It makes no difference how somebody else trying to tarnish the story. It ain't going to ultimately change who he is. Yeah, yeah. He said we gauge on him. We gauge on him just like you done found brand new money. Like you done found something. Because he was amazed at his teaching. Because we got to understand how John got a chance to meet him in the flesh when he was in his 30s. Uh -huh. yeah. So he walked with him in the discipleship. He was chosen. He was able to see the things that he was going to do. He is our protection. Mm -hmm. But most of all, here we find here, Sister Lamb, he says, and our hands have handled it. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. You're trying to say Jesus ain't what? It's something about the name of Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's power in the name of Jesus. Yeah. 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 That's, that's deliverance in that name. I know we're going through some storm. Everybody in here has got something they rest with. But I dare to call on that thing. Amen. Because that protection yeah, yeah. that will come a supernatural way. Yeah. He'll make a way out of nowhere. Yes, but y'all yeah. want you to understand. Not only did I hear him. Not only did I see him. But I gazed upon him. Yeah. I was amazed when he told us to get these baskets after he fed the 5,000 and had leftovers. I was amazed after he fed the 4,000 and we had baskets of leftovers. I was amazed. Yeah. We told a blind man go to the pool of Salaam and take a bath. And he come back to see. So we gazed on him and now that, but we looked on him and our hands handled him. And here's the uniqueness about this, <laughs> Sister Cynthia. He was there after resurrection. And because they didn't believe who he was and they were hiding, Jesus showed up and he said, Brother Cecil, here's my hand. Yeah, yeah. Put your hand, put your face in, uh -huh. in my hand. Yeah. Yeah. Put your hand in my side. Yeah. He said, I was able to touch yeah. the nails in his prince. We say it's not, we handle it, and it was what? Of the what? The word of life. Of life. Brother and sister, I need you to understand, Jesus is life. Yes. He's our protection. It's what we need right now. There's a lot of people saying a lot of different things, but what I need you to get today, in the midst of 2020, in the most turbulent times known to humanity in our lifetime, mm -hmm. the word is life. Yes. Yes. The word will keep you. Yes, out of all the stuff somebody come and tell you about, I heard this is going to put you down, and all this other stuff, brother, sister, quit buying woo cookies. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. Don't right. drink gorilla milk. Right. Right. It don't make no difference what nobody else saying just because they don't believe who Jesus is, you ought to know better. That's right. That's right. right. Amen. You ought to know better because the word is life. Boy, yes, it is. First, you said what? For the life was manifest, and we have, have seen it, and bear witness, and, and show unto you that eternal life, which was with, with the Father, and was manifested unto us. What well, we're looking at right here, we ought to live a life and have a hope for eternal life. Oh, yeah. I'd rather live a life and believe Jesus, and to know and believe that he has eternal life for me, than live a life without it, in a life of sin, and to find out I was wrong. Right. He is our protector. Yes, he Brother is. Wilson, look right here, right? You said, for the life. Uh -huh. In the Greek, the T H E, it put emphasis on the next word that is life. life. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. The life. Uh -huh. It is what was manifested, Sister Lynn. It came into existence. Yes. From the beginning, the master plan of redemption story for humanity before God did anything else in the war chest room back in eternity for redemption story, he already knew that man would sin. Yeah. 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 Yes, amen. He already knew man would fall. Yes, amen. He already knew you and I would make a mistake. Mm -hmm. He already knew know that everything that you and I would do in our life had already been mapped up because he had the same from yesterday to day and forever. Uh -huh. He knows everything about us, brothers and sisters. Our whole life is an open book in yeah. the master's eye. Yes. Yeah. yes. And because of our frailties and our limitations of who we are, he sent us protection. Mm -hmm. Yes, amen. And because Jesus, the love that God's got for humanity, he said, for God so loved the 
and I. Yes. So what we're looking at, right, what he gave to you and I, look what he said, the light was manifested. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we have seen it. Yeah. yeah. Just because you don't see it, I'll tell you something. You can't change my mind. Yeah, I've seen it. All right. I done seen it. Yeah. I know for sure. Guess what? And I bear witness. Uh -huh. Brothers and sisters, what God has done, the moment that you believe, it changed you. Oh, yes. Yeah. The man with great sinners saved by grace, but the moment that you believe, it gave you an opportunity to be a bear of witness that God is real. Oh, yes. Yeah. We go through some trial and tribulation and the struggle of this thing called life to let go of that old life, but there's a new way of walking. Yeah. Oh, yes, it is. There's a new way of talking. Uh -huh. yeah. When you make that kind of statement, brother, so there's a long way. Sometimes you got to leave people, places, and things behind. Some things that will hold you. You loved it. You enjoyed it. But sometimes you just got to let go mm -hmm. and let go. Amen. John said, be bad with it, Sister Cynthia. But Brother Casey said, and show unto you that eternal life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want you to understand. Jesus ran for you and I eternal life. He came from eternity. Mm -hmm. He stepped into time. Yeah. He lived in time. He died on time. He rose out of time. He stepped out of time and came back at time. But he has eternal life with you and I today. Yeah. Brother Sutton, he says, Now, I have seen it, I bear witness, and he showed unto you that eternal life, yeah. guess what? Which was yeah. with the Father. Mm -hmm. In other words, Jesus is the Word, and the Word was back in eternity before that was the beginning. That's the word. Yeah. That's what he said right now. Uh -huh. Now Jesus is the word. Yeah. I want you to get this now. So John is trying to help him out right now. So to me, I know the mud, the water the mud right now. The bird, you can't see the bottom yet. But he says now that eternal life, which was with the Father and was manifested yeah. unto us. Oh, yes. We walk with him. Yeah. Yes, yes. We talk with him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Three and a half years, we were right there with him side by side. Yes. Yeah. We heard the word. The word became flesh. And there's something about the word of God. Brothers and sisters, when you get away from the television, when you get away from the telephone, when you get away from everything else that distracts you, and then you get to the B I D L E, you can find that's some hope. Yeah. Well, you can find deliverance. Yeah. You can find some things that will protect you. You'll find that he made a way out of nowhere. He's a unique book that we've got because this book is alive because it's the word of God and the word of God going to live inside of you, but you got to read it. Yeah. 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 You got to meditate on it. You got to be tired with it. And when you do that, God will manifest himself to you. Come on, right? I know you might have been crying, but guess what? He'll dry your cheery eyes. Yes, he will. Yeah. Come on. You might have had a broken heart because death angel and showed up and took your love on the way. God, I don't want you to stop loving them. They're not here correctly, but he wants you to remember. That's yeah. right. These are feelings and things we've got to go through in this thing called life. And guess what? It ain't prejudice. It happens to everybody. That's right. Amen. He is Amen. our protection. Mm -hmm. What verse 3 says? And which we have seen and heard declare unto you, that ye also may have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We find that now that colonia is the Greek word for fellowship. It says now, and means coming together. The common in it. He says now, there's a division among us. Because what I'm telling you, I'm seasoned and you're young and immature. All right. And you don't want to read because you don't know what I'm telling you. So I'm explaining it to you. But thus, said the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. But that which we have seen and heard declare we unto you. In other words, I'm not shooting the breeze. All right. Yes. I'm not just telling you something. That's it. I got an eyewitness that God will make a way. Yeah. I got an eyewitness because not only me, but back in biblical days, brothers and sisters, this letter was written back to the folks that are in Ephesians in Ephesus for them to be able because.
because it was common knowledge about what was going on. Yes. Now here we are in 2020. We are far removed right. from back in biblical days. Yeah. But we do have a record to tell us what happened way back then. Yeah. All right. So the local church members there were able to look and say, well, what you mean? He said, we're here. And we declare this to you that ye also may have fellowship with us. Mm -hmm. But did you get that, Sister Lee? Yeah. You might have to ask him questions. Yeah. Brother Susan, you got somebody asking you some questions. Right. You got somebody that you know in your circle, might be your friends, might be your co-workers, somebody up and down the street, it might be somebody that's knocking on your door yeah. asking you questions about this man named Jesus. All right. yeah. It gives you an opportunity to be a witness. Yeah. And he says now, they are on the outside looking in, because guess what? If somebody went and told you about the good news of Jesus, you still be on the outside looking yeah. in. Right. Amen. Yeah. We still be guessing about this thing. Yes. But guess what? Everybody that you know is concerned about whether a soul goes to spend eternity. Yes. Yes. And the most important thing is, do they have eternal life? Because right. the eternal question is, how are you and Jesus? How is your relationship with Jesus? Right. That's the bottom line. Yeah. Every grandma says every tub sits on his own bottom. Yes. So the bottom line is, how is you and Jesus got it going on? John says here that you may have fellowship with us. That's it. That's an opportunity. That's it, yeah. Ain't nobody excluded. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't nobody so grand a rascal that yeah. Jesus decided to get off the cross and not die for them. Yeah. 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 Ain't nobody that bad that God did not send redemption story to help save their soul. God got a desire that none should perish. But all should have eternal life. Right. The fellowship we look here, he said that you might have fellowship. And truly, our fellowship is what? Yeah. With uh, the Father. Uh, Come on. Uh, Did you get it? Yeah. With the Father and yeah. what? With the, his Son. Yes. Who? Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. There's something about Jesus. Yes, yes it is. There's yes. something about that thing. Yes. These young folks were sitting there amazed and gazed at it like, you know, you're telling me about Jesus, but what you're saying is, I heard about God the Father, but you didn't tie Jesus into this thing. Uh -huh. How in the world is, it, it's amazing, but you find that the true one, that's part of the triune God. Right. He's the same one. <laughs> he manifested himself in the flesh to come down, because that's what true love is. Yeah. Brother and sisters, he loved every man is so much in my worst of days that he came to die that I might have a right. The tree of life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Says now that relationship is with them. And guess what he said in verse 4? And these things are the That your joy may be full. The bottom line is you ain't happy. Yeah. That's a joy that's missing. That's something that you don't have. Good news. Come on. That's a good news right here that you have eternal life once we accept Jesus. Come on, man. Yeah. Want you accept and quit being an enemy of God and Come understand God wants you to be his friend. Yeah. We're all sinners, but we are all sinners saved. Uh -huh. By grace. Come yes. on, friend. Oh. And because he said right now, you're going to have this joy and that joy will be filled. You ought to be a Christian that walks around with a smile on your face. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. If you got a Christian walking around me bugging, why do you yeah. a sinner say, why am I going to hang out with a God like you Look at you. Okay. Huh. Look like you're sucking on a green lemon. And doesn't have your body. All you're doing is complaining. What kind of God you got? It ought to be some joy that God has brought you through a trial. Lord. It ought to be some joy that He gave you a victory over some things that would beat you up. Yeah. It ought to be something that, that is a positive thing that God has did in your life to tell somebody, could nobody do this but the Lord? Right. Could nobody get me out of trouble I was in but the Lord? Yeah. Could nobody put food on my table but the Lord? Could nobody put shelter over my head but the Lord? Yeah. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Yeah. 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 I'm so glad I'm so good this morning. Amen. Amen. It says right now that these things we're writing to you to help you understand he is our protection. There's nothing you can do to do for yourself. Amen. We are finite, limited creatures depending on a supernatural God to step into the natural. Yeah. 
and do something supernatural, can't nobody get to pray for him. And he wants to be his mouthpiece. Yes, all right. Want to tell somebody about how good God is. Yeah. Well, let's see what verse 5 is to say. Then if the which we have heard of him, and, and, and declare unto you that God, God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. So, now much darkness? No. no. Wait, wait, wait a minute. That's amazing. You said that now. And see, don't get mad at me because it's in your Bible. But it says, this thing yeah. is a message. Yeah. That's why I want you to get this morning, Sister Eason, Sister Cynthia, Sister Paul, if you're looking this morning. This is a message, Sister Divine. He said that which we have heard of him, and we declare unto you. That God is. Uh -huh. yeah. What is it? He's alive. He's alive. Uh -huh. Yeah. And you woke up early that morning. He's awake. The truth is. And see the prayer he made God decide to make yeah. 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 Yes. And you see darkness at nighttime. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. But you mess around and get up early. Yeah. Uh -huh. And look toward the east. Uh -huh. yeah. And God flip a switch. Yeah. And all of a sudden there's a sunrise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he just don't come with nothing, but he comes to all creation. Yeah. 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 The sun that rises above the darkness. Yeah. Darkness got to move around. So the darkness in our lives got to move around. But the light that comes into our lives ought to be leaning from the inside out. Yeah. You ought to have some joy, some unspeakable joy, because the protection is the light that came on. Yeah. But he says right now, he said, God is light, mm -hmm. and in him is what? No, no God. No. At all. At all. Well, part of knows that they live. You say, y'all walk around. I don't judge that. Ain't no darkness in God. No. I thought you say, I am the way, the truth, the truth and, and the light. Yes. Yes. I don't you understand. Jesus is the light that we need today. Yes. Even in 2020, in this dark and pandemic time, we need Jesus more than we ever did. Amen. We need to walk with it more than we ever did. Yes. We need to read about it more than we ever did. We need to talk about it. In the fellowship that he was talking about, nine times out of ten, in college, if you would go to, say, if you would go to Harvard University, and you would specialize, say, in Socrates or Shakespeare, there are certain colleges that you would go there and you would eat and sit with the students and the teachers, and that's all they talked about was Shakespeare. All they would talk about was the different plays and all the different things, different words and different books, and that's all you studied. So the fellowship is, after you be there a little while, and maybe that two or three years, then you become a fellow, that means you've been there to learn, you have learned from the teachers and the students, and now you are part that want to make you a fellow, so you will now can sit and talk with anybody that comes in about this subject. Mm -hmm. The third thing that God wants us to do is have fellowship with him. We come to church today, we talk about everything else but Jesus. We can tell you about what happened down the street. We can tell you about the mess that went on. We can tell you about everybody just that if we don't talk about Jesus. But when you in the fellowship of with Jesus, when you fellowship with God, what he wants you to do, when you come in, you ought to say, let me tell you what God done for me. Yeah. You ought to have a story and say, God made a way out of no way. God healed my body. God gave me a miracle. Did you hear about him healing somebody's body? Did you hear about him put food on somebody's table? It ought to be a fellowship or a common conversation yeah. all about Jesus instead of the word. Yeah. Yeah. So John is saying, when you come in fellowship with us, we're going to talk about Jesus. Yeah. I don't want to hear about the donkey that ran on down the road with the music. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I want to talk about how good Jesus has been to you. Yeah. I want to know who you have a right relationship with. Yeah. I want to know did he turn your way with wife around? Did he turn that knucklehead husband around? Yeah. Did he bring that child back to the floor? Did he take drugs out of their system? Yeah. Did he take hair out of their mouth? Uh -huh. Did he take tobacco out of their lives? Did he take alcohol? That's the kind of fellowship John is talking about. We want to have fellowship with us. Yeah. Yeah. So when you come down here, I'll tell you this one I'm going to talk about. If you don't want to have my Jesus, don't get in my ass space. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's my protection. Oh, yes, he is. He's the one made a way out of nowhere. Come on. Yes, he and he says now, and in God there is no darkness at all. At all. all right. Woo. All right. Let me say in verse 6. If we if say, say that, that we have fellowship with, with, with him and, and walk in darkness, we, we lie and, and do not the, the truth. truth. Now, <laughs> it's in the Bible. I didn't say it. I'm too. All right. I'm going to call you a liar. <laughs> all right, all right. But it's in the book. Oh, yeah. John is telling them, Brother Cecil, mm how -hmm. the horse eat the cabbage. Yes, yes. He said, right here, Sister Lynn, if we say, mm -hmm. 
We have fellowship with him uh -huh. and walk in darkness. He what? We lied. Y'all didn't say, I didn't say it. It's a divine man. So don't when they get out there, that man is going around calling folks a lie on Facebook and everything else. No, you come tell me this what the book says. John said we lie. We lie. He ain't say you lie, he said we. Yeah, yeah. He said everybody. Yeah. At one time or another, somebody has said a lie. A mom will say anything. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, but you got to be. Yeah. But it makes a difference. Yeah. He said we lie and do not what? The truth. The bottom line is, if you don't know what Jesus is all about, if you don't know what the Bible is all about, if you don't take time out to read the basic instructions for the the earth, you said a whole bunch of stuff. That's a lot of folks saying all kind of stuff that ain't coming out this book. Amen. Come on. Amen. It ought to be a change. It ought to be a change yeah. in our attitude. Come on, man. It ought to be a change in the modification on the inside of yeah. us. Yeah. What he's telling us is our character modification has to be modified from our thought process. That's right. Yeah. Come on, man. He's going to he gonna protect us, but you got to change your state and thinking. That's right. Yeah. You got to change the way you do things yeah. and yeah. let go and let go. Clean the 
yourself up. You're welcome to come to kill. He looked at me kind of strange. All the welcome. Come on. All the candidates for salvation. Come on. God has a desire in none to perish. And here's the reason why. He said, because the blood of Jesus, uh-huh. his son, cleanses what? Uh, us. Of what? Of all of My sin ain't your sin, Brother Casey. Yeah. Yeah. Brother Casey, yeah. my sin ain't your sin. So believe my sin ain't your sin. So Randy, my sin ain't your sin. So the sick in my sin ain't your sin. But we find out, Sister Eason, he says, Jesus' blood is qualified to clean all of our messed up lives up. Yeah. Woo! He's watching. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't that amazing? Yeah. I, didn't yeah. I don't know where you came, but I'm so glad that blood touched me. Yeah. Because I know I'm a race and a saved that yeah. race. That's all. And then I found out that it's Jesus Christ that paid the price that I might have a right to the truth. Yeah. Yeah. I got excuse me this morning, I got excited. Yeah. 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 I got excited that yeah. I found a family, the Christian word, that we look at the Colossus, Cornelia, in Greek that says a fellowship. We can have fellowship all together because of what Jesus did on Calvary. Amen. Amen. Woo! Nobody but you. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get through this thing with a knee on the bone right here. Yeah. What verse ain't got to say? If we say, say that we have, have no sin, we deceive, deceive ourselves. And, and the truth is not in us. Did you get this? Yeah. 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 Some people think it's a thing. Some folks had a radio man and a video man and said, Brother Andy, you know, I'll the book. <laughs> he said, if, mm-hmm. if we say we have no sin, we deceive what? Brothers and sisters all have seen. Yeah. And don't show. Yeah. I don't care how you want to look down into your nose like that and me behind what I do that you know about me yeah. and my skeleton. You got some skeleton hanging your closet yeah. too. Yeah. We all yeah. got some dirty yeah. yeah. We got some dirty and hard to say. But if we say we have no sin, and that's what John was challenging these young folks that don't understand about how important it is to walk like Christ. If you say you ain't got no sin, yeah. you are deceiving yourself. That's, it. that's a sad thing. You can lie to everybody else. Yeah. Quit lying to yourself. That's a sad place to be when you believe your own life. Let me say it now. He said, and the truth is what? Not in, not in. Not in us. He not excluded himself. He said, I'm in it as well. All right. Ain't nobody separate. And ain't no respect the person. And you're a human being. And you ain't walking with Christ. The bottom line is, it comes and step on all of our toes. That's right. That's right. Let me say it right now in verse 9. If we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sin. And to cleanse us from all our hearts. Oh, oh, ain't that good news? Amen. Yeah. Read number nine again. I, I, I guess I know we can break it down and step on our toes, but look what happened. He done finally got off our blue suede shoes. What did he say? Where is that? If we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sin. And, and cleanse us all. Right. Right. We find out if that's your yeah. blessing now. Yeah. The blessing is here. Yeah. If we what? Confess. Open your what? Our sin. The bottom line is when grace come in. Right. Brother Susan, can you come to terms and understand but that it's some wrong stuff inside of you? By some stinking thinking, and can you come to the point of confessing your sin to him? And the bottom line, guess what he is? He is faithful uh-huh. and all that, but he's just to know to forgive us of all our sin. Now, Sister Martha, what that's saying is that God wants you to understand if you confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sin, and most of all, to cleanse us uh-huh. from, all uh, from what? Oh, all unrighteous. unrighteousness. Brother and sister, ain't nothing that's unright that he can't get right. Mm. Amen. Ain't nothing you doing today that he can't straighten out. Amen. Ain't nothing that messed up and so crooked he can't make it out. Come on. The bottom line is we got to let go, give it to him, and let him have his way. Talk to him. Come on. You got to talk to him. Come on. And when you find what grace is, he gives you what you don't deserve, and then mercy. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. No, the mercy's got something to do with it. Yes, yeah. yeah. he's merciful, and because he's got mercy, what he's gonna do, Sister Lee? He's gonna cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Oh, yeah. Ain't that amen? Amen. Somebody else say amen this morning. Amen. Ain't that amazing? Yeah. Amen. That's amazing what he said. John something like that. Help you out there now. Brother Nathan, we good to see you joining with us today. Yeah. Look at verse 10 says right here. If, what? if we say that we have not seen, we, we make him a lie. And, and his word is not in him. Oh, there go that if again. We <laughs> find right now that the condition we say, but if we say we have not seen, uh -huh. some folks are in denial. Yeah. Some folks think they're perfect. Yeah. Some people think they can walk on water. Yeah. There's some folks in their mind think they're better than you and I. Yeah. But I need you to understand, he's saying that. If we say it come out of our mouth, and yes. you say it, and you believe it, we have not seen. Uh -huh. We make him a liar. He already know you. Uh -huh. He already yep. know you. He made your mouth. Yeah, he yeah. Know. He don't defend the same. <laughs> he know your thoughts. Uh -huh. He don't defend the same. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta understand. We gotta watch what we thinking and watch what we say. Oh God, all that he know. Yeah. He moves forward to where he is the servant of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Yeah. He already knows what you're gonna say. He already yeah. know what you feel. Yeah. Uh -huh. The burden of eyes is gone, peace. But he is our protection. Yeah. Look what he said right now. He says now, he used to make him a liar, and most of all, guess what? His it's word is not, not, not in us. Not in us. Yeah. Oh. The bottom line is, you ain't got Jesus on the inside. Because yeah. right. Jesus ain't going to say nothing bad about the dead because he's talking about his own self. Amen. The word of God don't change your conversation, going to change your mind. That's why he protects us. That's the good thing, brothers and sisters. Make no difference where you at. The good news is you're covered and protected by the blood Amen. the moment you believe. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I don't care about the COVID-19. Everybody needs you not yeah. tell me about what everybody else is saying. Yeah. I'm telling you what thus said the Lord. Oh, yeah. Jesus is your protection. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Jesus is the one that make a way out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. Jesus is the one that'll hold you and keep you and protect you from all hurt, all the danger. Yeah. Amen. Woo! Give me chapter 2, verse 1. Hope you get some out of it. My little little children. Children. These, These things cry out unto you, that ye sin not. And, and if any man, man sin, we have an advocate with, with the Lord, Lord. Jesus Christ, Christ the righteous. Yeah. Ain't that good news? Yeah. 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 Now, good news is, with the, we got somebody with a purpose and got a command to walk with you. Come on. Yeah. Come on, come on. He made an obligation before he stepped out of eternity. Come on. Yeah. Before he stepped into time. Come on. He had a command. Yeah. He had a purpose. Yeah. He had an objective. The bottom line is, it's up to us to push him away. But he's still standing right there. Yeah. 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 With his own. Woo. With his own. Well, he said, look at my hand. Yeah. Uh -huh. Look at my feet. Yeah. Come on, Look at my side. Yeah. Look at his hands right now. My little children. John, the pastor here, he's calling out. He said, my little children, these, these things I write unto you. I want you to understand, I'm putting it in paper. I don't want you to forget it. No, paper always remembers. Yeah. Right. He said, but I write this to you. Guess what? That you are sin now. You got a choice. Yeah. You know what you're doing. Make the change. We're doing what you're doing. Make the change. Stop making a change while you still got a change. Yeah. While the blood's in running warm in your veins. I don't need to know your dirty laundry. Yeah. Everybody in here got some dirty laundry. Even somebody out there on Facebook got dirty laundry. Yeah. The bottom line is God already knows your dirty laundry. He said, if you sin, I'll quit with doing what you're doing. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Yes, yes Lord. Lord. We thank you. Our hands are trying to break this message. Yes, 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 Lord. Lord. We thank you for this privilege. Yes, thank Lord. You. Thank you. Once again, if another day is true. Oh, yes, Lord. Father, thank you for making another thank day for us. Oh, yes, Lord. Lord. Thank you. To be able to see the salvation of the Lord. To hear the greatness of your word. Oh, yes. How John expounded it. Yes. Oh, yes. Dr. Nephesis, how great a word. And how emphasized who he was. And yes. how important you are to him. Yes, and the fellowship that's extended to us, even in 2020. Oh, yes. Everybody has an opportunity. Thank you, Lord. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Died for us. Yes, he did. Bless gracious master, you see fit. Oh, yes. Yes. Your brother Casey trapping great. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Coming down life and yes. yes. Watch over the children, Master. The blood. Oh, yes. As they get ready to go through school. Your blood. Yes. The blood has been covered on Master. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes. Cover the teachers. Yes. Cover the principal. Cover yes. the classroom. Yes. Cover yes. everything that they need to protect them, Master. Yes, Lord. Because ain't nobody do it like that. Oh, yes. And I know you can do it, Master. Yes. And we ask you right now. Touch Brother Elam right now. Yes, Lord. In the hospital, touch it from the top yes, of his head please, to the bottom of his feet. Yes, Lord. We curse that pneumonia in the name yes, of the Father, Son, yes, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, Get Lord. your hands and loose the mucus in his mouth. Oh, yes, yes, you can right now sing that demonic string back to yes, the depth Lord, of hell yes, where it came from. Yes. Master, if you don't mind, protect us from COVID 19. Oh, yes, protect us, Master. Because yes, I know what he can. Oh, yes. Show healing power. Thank Your delivery power yes, is your blood that keeps it. Oh, yes, Lord. We're covered under the blood. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We give you praise, we give you glory. Yes. Yes. Because you're no right in the truth. Oh, yes. Let's yes. words about my heart. Yes. Yes. The meditation of our heart. Yes. 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 Be acceptable in thy sight. Be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Our strength. Our strength. Our redeemer. Our redeemer. It's in Jesus' name. It's in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Jesus name. Pray. We pray. We pray. 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 May the grace of our Lord and Savior, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, let the rest of the Bible us now until the saints of God come together again. And they all said, Amen. Amen. I pray, Molly, you see it a little different. Be encouraged. Amen. Mass up. Keep your distance. And stay safe. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for coming out.